In this video, we are going to be adding a shake gesture into our Titanium app. That means when you shake your phone, uh, you want something to happen. An obvious easy example is when you have your in your iPhone, I don't know about Android, but in your iPhone, when you open your music and when you're playing a song, you can, I think, shake to play a random song. So shuffle. So yeah, so you can do all sorts of stuff with, not all sorts of, but you can do a couple of interesting stuff with Shake and we are going to be doing adding that into our uh, app today. So uh, var win equals tie.ui.create window. I keep on forgetting to write this before starting my tutorial slash video. So yeah, I'm not really going to talk about creating windows because it's obvious and I've been doing it for the past I don't know 40 tutorials or something and and I am going to create a label as well type dot ui dot create la create label and inside that the text is going to be shake your phone or shake that and the width and the height is going to be auto okay now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be adding our gesture. So we're going to say titanium or tie dot gesture dot add event listener. So we are going to be listening to a gesture and we want some code to execute when that happens. So the gesture we're going to be listening to is shake. And for our callback function, we are going to, oops say uh, label.text you shook your phone just so that we uh, it's just an easy way to see that the shaking has already actually worked because if it did work it's going to change the text if it didn't it's not going to change the text so yeah last thing I'm going to do is just quickly add our label and open our window so yeah really simple I think my past three four videos being have been under like 20 lines or 25 lines. This is only 17. So yeah, so yeah, that's not quite big, but it's really useful. So I'm going to save my app.js and run my iPhone simulator. Okay, so my app is loaded and we have a text that says shake that. Now, uh, if I click on my, or click and hold my iPhone simulator and shake it sideways or I don't know, randomly like that, it's actually not going to do anything because that doesn't recognize it has a shake. What we need to do is go to hardware when we have focus when we are focusing on our simulation. Go up here to hardware, or if you're using, yes, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you're using when you're using uh, Windows. I don't know where hardware is. I think it's somewhere in the options. But yeah, if you go to hardware, you won't be able to see the hardware uh, option here itself because of my uh, screen resolution it's I think uh, cut out but if you click on hardware it's going to give you all these uh, options there's the rotates and there's the home and locked and stuff and if you go to shake gesture it's actually going to uh, simulate a shaking gesture so if I click on it it says you shook your phone so if you shake that phone it's going to uh, output or change the text to you shook your phone. So with this uh, iPhone simulator, you'll be able to use the shake gesture to uh, simulate a just a shaking gesture, which is really useful. So if you want to create, I don't know, an app that randomly displays a photo inside your photo library when you shake your phone, if you write that code and you write this tie.gesture.addEventListener with shake, uh, you'll be able to simulate or debug your app just using your iPhone simula simulator without the need to connect it to your uh, device because you have this useful shake gesture which shakes your phone although it doesn't look like you shake your phone. So yeah, that was a quick video on adding shaking gestures into your app. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed my video or found it useful, just please do the usual, I don't know, like, favorite, subscribe, comment. Yeah, it motivate me it motivates me to do more. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.